Hi, everybody. I hope you had a great Christmas. We're in that lovely, quiet period of the year between the celebrations of Christmas and waiting for the new year to begin. And we, everything's kind of on hold for a little while before the, uh, the new year begins. Well, I hope you got some good Christmas presents. I did. And that you're able to give some good ones too. You know, the three wise men in the story from the Bible were the first ones to bring Christmas presents because of them that we give uh, Christmas presents today. I want to tell you a story this morning, which is a story I love. It was written by O. Henry, and it's called The Gift of the Magi, and it's about a young couple. They were newly married. They had no money. They lived in a couple of rooms upstairs in the building. And uh, Della, who was the wife, and Jim, by the way, was the husband, she had been saving money for months trying to get enough to buy a decent Christmas present for Jim. But she only had $1.87. She didn't know what to do. Well, while she was waiting for Jim to come home from work on Christmas Eve, she looked in the window and she saw her hair. She let it down, right down to her knees. Her hair was that long. Now, there were two precious things that Jim and Della had. The one was Della's hair. And the other was Jim's precious silver pocket watch, which had, which had been given to him by his grandfather. She decided what she would do. So down the stairs she went into the street. She found the hairdresser. She went in. She said to the hairdresser, please, won't you buy my hair? And so the hairdresser cut off the hair. They would use it for wigs. And gave her $20 and off she went to find a present for Jim and she found a beautiful a beautiful watch chain made out of platinum and she took it home and wrapped it. Soon after Jim came home and he had a parcel in his hands and he put the parcel down at the table and then he looked at his wife and saw no hair. She explained to him why she had had her hair cut off and he hugged her and he said you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do he was somewhat dismayed, but he gave her the present anyway. And when she opened it, it was two beautiful tortoiseshell combs, which he wanted her to use for her hair. And she broke down in tears. She was so upset about it. Anyway, she said, give me your watch. I want to show you my Christmas present for you. He said, I, I can't give you my watch. I sold my watch so that I could buy combs for your hair. And both of them ended up in each other's arms. As O. Henry says at the end of the story, of all the wise people who gave gifts that Christmas day, these two were the wisest, the magi of the story. <laughs> I love that story. And it talks about how love is all about letting go. And when Jesus asked his disciples to follow him, he said, deny yourself. Let go of your own way. Take up your cross. Maybe you will even have to let go of your life out of love for me and follow me. I am your role model. I am the one you have to emulate. Follow me. And then he said, whoever loses his life, whoever lets go of his life or her life, for my sake will find it, will find true life, will find authentic life, will find fullness of life, which is the greatest gift of all. By Jim and Della giving away what was most precious to them, their love deepened. Jesus let go of his life out of love for us. He calls us to do the same for him. We will be faced with decisions in the coming days as we go from one thing to another. And let us always choose to let go for the sake of love. Amen. Look after yourselves, keep safe, and we will see you again.